So it begs the question, so is it worth buying something like the Volante, the Volante today when you have so many other options available to you? So the Volante, the Volante today. The Volante. Hey everyone, and we are back with this week's episode. On this week's episode, we are doing one of my favorite delay pedals ever, and I swear I'm not being paid to say this. Are you sure about that? It is the Strymon Volante. Now, you may be wondering what exactly is the Volante? Well, here's a few of the specs. The Strymon Volante has magnetic echo, oh my god, what? has digital recreation of classic analog machines. Magnetic echo machine recreates drum delays, tape echoes, and reel-to-reel -reel sounds. Specialized controls simulate tape wear and mechanical problems of vintage gear, independent spring reverb and stereo outputs, and expression pedal controls. So basically this is gonna be a box version of different vintage reel-to-reel -reel or tape echoes like, like the Space Echo, the RE201. Not gonna go super in depth with the controls and explaining them because Strymon actually has a video explaining all of that and being in that it's their pedal, they have the best explainer of them all. But what we're gonna do is give you a few sounds and this is Tia's first yeah. impressions with the pedal. This is like a reoccurring theme. Yeah. I don't play anything, yeah. ever. <laughs> well, we'll change it up. We still have the Rainbow Machine episode coming. Oh yeah, no, that's coming. <laughs> So yeah, this is my first impression of the Volante. I have about 30 seconds of playing with this before we hit record. I, uh, I keep decreasing the time. Yeah, it was 10 minutes and now it's 30 seconds. Yeah. So this is me completely fresh into this. So this is all brand new to me. I honestly don't really look into Strymon stuff that much because uh, it's expensive. It is, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Strymon. Uh, Jason's uh, bougie. It's yeah. an ongoing thing. It's yeah, okay. I, I, I like good sounding things yeah. and Strymon makes great sounding things, so yeah, I no. like them too. No arguments here, they definitely do. So, on to the sound. So what are we, what are we on right now? We are on...
cool. Ooh, oh my god, what are all those buttons? Because you know this way better than I do. I've done nothing but look at this. I've not touched a single button. Well, I've played with it a little bit, and you know, there's a couple of cool little things in this pedal. One of the things that I haven't seen a lot of reviewers talk about, I could be wrong because I haven't seen every single review on this. What do you mean you have not watched every single review on YouTube? I know. What is wrong with you? I, maybe I need a history lesson in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that laugh. Yeah, I know. Um, but one of the things that I'm saying, <laughs> There is a built-in recorder on this, much like a reel-to-reel, -reel, and you just hold down the tap and you'll access that. With that loop going, one of the cool things that a lot of people... I haven't seen a lot of people do, but again, if you know me, I love lo-fi stuff, so we're gonna reverse that. Right. Oh, I like it. It's like a like an orchestra. Yeah, but not only are we going to reverse it, we're going to flip it and reverse it. <laughs> you put that thing down, flip it and reverse, reverse it. it yeah. All right. So you can change. You can double the speed of like like it's an actual tape recorder. Can so. you cut it in half? I like how it went from like a choir, like up high, to like a somber. Yeah. Like yeah, this is the death forest. So that's one of the, you know, one of the quick features that and then you go back to normal. I like that. Man, you might might have sold me on this. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a couple of the you know, you just pause it with that. So that's just a couple of the quick sounds with it. I really don't want to go super in depth because there's a bunch of other great videos. Rhett Scholl has a fantastic video about his thoughts on the Volante. And again, the Strymon explainer on this pedal is worth watching because I, I had to watch it just to figure this pedal out. With that said, Tia, you're brand spanking new to this. I am. What are some of your thoughts? I like it a lot. I really like the feature where you can loop, reverse, speed it up and slow it down. Like, I don't know which one I liked more, speeding it up or slowing it down. I don't know, just I like both sounds and like it just I want to record something just I don't know, like really sad with it. <laughs> <laughs> like I just wanna like lock myself in a cabin for two weeks and record an album. Fair enough. I, I need someone to break up with me first. <laughs> Alright, so as I said at the start, this is easily my favorite delay pedal. I do think Strymon makes the best delays out on the market at the moment, bar none. I said some. Didn't say it. Didn't say they... The best. <sighs> Fuck. Let me do that again. I might be a little bit biased going into this pedal. I can admit that. However, playing the dig, the L cap, and owning the timeline, I think sonically this sounds better than all of them. One of the things that this would be my end all be all is if it had a programmable BPM. Oh, yeah. And if, if it had that, I would... It'd be done. <laughs> yeah, it'd be done. It'd, it'd like, you know, if this had a programmable BPM, I would be done. But yeah, this has been an awesome awesome delay and we've reviewed a lot of delays and we've played a lot of delays and i think for me this is one of my favorites just because of some of the features that you can do with it i do like the built-in looper that's a bit more usable and a bit more visible the secondary functions on this pedal are what sell it to me if you need an explainer on that strymon has a video check it out i'm trying to get them links in the description but yeah that's it thanks for watching and if you got any more recommendations for our pedals of summer send them our way um i, I, don't, know what, I don't know what we should do next as far as pedal wise anyways laters <laughs>